Hello guys, you can see that there is a 2D diagram of a water tap and now I am going to show you how to draw this water tap in AutoCAD. So let's begin. So before starting, just consider that uh, I will be starting from this upper side. Okay. So let's begin. At first just click here and just open a new window. Okay. Now I don't need the grid mode. So switch off this one. Now at first select circle and draw a circle and the radius of the circle will be 20 millimeter. So put 20 and put enter. This is so small. Okay. Now uh, select line and from the center I will be drawing a line. It will be horizontal, so just switch on the auto mode. The length will be 70 millimeter. Okay. Now again select line and from this point, from the endpoint, draw a vertical line and it will be just 10 millimeter. Now switch off ortho mode and join these two points. Enter. Now select this part, select frame and trim the inner parts, now enter. Now select this part, these two lines, click on mirror and click on center and at this point enter. Now select, okay. now I don't need this line, so select this one and here is this one. Okay. Now select this part. Now click on mirror and click here and make them okay, switch on ortho. Enter. Okay. Now this part is complete. Okay. So we need again line. So select line and from the center the vertical line and it will be 80 millimeter okay now in this side draw a line of 10 millimeter and just click here okay now select this line select mirror and just click here click here enter okay now I don't need this, this two, so just erase this two. And now I need to trim the inner parts, so select, then click on trim, and now trim the inner parts, enter. Now select line, now draw a line and join them, and enlarge them. So it will be 20 millimeter and also 20 millimeter in this direction it will be 60 millimeter 20 millimeter and now also 20 millimeter <coughs> okay now I can select line and from this point Draw line, it will be again 10 millimeter. Enter and again select line, and from this point, it will be again 10 millimeter. Okay, <coughs> now we need line, so select line, and from the center, from the center point, draw a line and it will be 70 millimeter. Now we need another horizontal line and it will be 150 millimeter. Enter. Now select fillet and from here select fillet radius and the radius will be 50 millimeter. 50 enter. Now select this line and now this line. 
Okay. Now, okay. Still not this one. Just go back. Okay. Uh, select line and from this point actually from this end point uh, draw vertical line and it will be 100 millimeter sorry not 100 it will be 70 millimeter delete this one delete uh, it will be 70 millimeter okay now in this direction it will be 110 millimeter okay now select fillet now select fillet radius and the radius will be 50 millimeter enter now select this line and now select this line okay okay now select line again and from this in point draw vertical line and it will be 10 millimeter now in this direction 20 millimeter now vertically downward it is 80 millimeter horizontal 20 millimeter now upward 10 millimeter and in this direction it will be 150 millimeter okay now select fillet click on radius and put the radius 5 millimeter now select this line and this line enter now click on radius 5 and I'll select this line and this uh, this line okay now again select line so again we need line and from this end point we need another line and it will be just 90 millimeter okay now select circle and at this end point from this end point draw a circle and the radius will be 30 millimeter okay now select and then click on trim now trim the outer parts and trim the inner parts enter okay now select fillet and click on radius and the radius will be 20 millimeter enter now click here also here enter select radius put 20 enter now select this circle this line and this circle okay <coughs> so the uh, okay now go to for next parts now select this portion click on mirror and just Select the midpoint, okay. click enter. Now we have left this portion. Okay. Now uh, we need some measurement actually. So select uh, click this one and click here. And it will be 20 millimeter and vertically it will be 40 millimeter. Okay, now uh, select fillet, click on radius 20 millimeter, and now select this line and this particular line okay 
now select line from this end point the horizontal line it will be actually 60 millimeter then upward it will be 20 millimeter okay so this portion is complete now we have left this portion this portion so let's think about this dimension now select line and okay and draw a line vertical line and it will be 80 millimeter upward and in this direction also 80 millimeter okay now uh, select fillet now click on radius and it will be 80 millimeter enter now select this line and select this line okay now our drawing is complete what is left that is we need to put the dimension okay so we can put the dimension so for uh, putting the dimension at first we can select radius so the radius was okay 20 is very small so go to annotation and just click here so we need standard one okay so set current close now select this one and delete this one okay now click on radius okay this is very small now so go to annotation click on standard and click on modify now decimal precision zero and go to text and text height it will make you can make this one 10 okay close so it is big enough visible very clearly okay so what do we need we need the linear distance so click on linear so from this line to this end line it will be 20 millimeter enter to repeat the previous command so this line okay, it is 139 okay there is a mistake so again select this one this point okay 149 no problem just one millimeter missing now again linear so distance from this line this line is 20 millimeter okay now enter to repeat the previous command so from this point, this line to this line is more so linear distance. This line, okay, the last line, 60 millimeter. Enter to repeat the previous command, and this height will be 20 millimeter. Enter to repeat the previous command. So the distance in these two lines is 80 millimeter. Okay. Now, what we need that we need radius. Let's click here. It will be three, okay. 50 millimeter. Now, in that to uh, repeat the previous command, it is okay, 5 millimeter. Now, we need linear distance. Linear. So, this line was actually 20 millimeter enter to repeat the previous command click 80 millimeter enter now the distance between these two lines was 60 millimeter okay now again enter to repeat the previous command so distance from this line 
to the center was okay 150 millimeter uh, now we need angular distance radius actually so click radius so the radius of the circle was 30 inter and this was 20 okay now again and we need another distance so go to linear select linear so distance from this end to the center was 90 millimeter now we need that is we need again we need actually a uh, linear distance so linear so this point to this line was actually 20 millimeter now we need angular radius so this radius was 20 millimeter now we need angular distance sorry linear distance and the length of this line was 60 millimeter enter to repeat the previous command and the length of Line was 20 millimeter. Again, we need angular distance radius. So this radius was 80 millimeter. Okay. Now, if you want, we can put some other dis uh, dimensions. So all the necessary dimensions are left are uh, finished actually. So I we can put some more so linear and a distance from this line to the center of this line was okay it was actually 100 millimeter. It was necessary actually and again linear distance. So distance from this point. So this actually should be 130 millimeter. Okay. So anything left? Okay. Again linear. So distance from this point, it will be actually 20 millimeter. Left. Twenty, thirty, eighty, eight, fifty. So, if you want, we can show this one. Radius is also fifty. Okay, twenty, twenty. is complete and also I hope that you have uh, if you are in my channel and share this video with your friends and press the like button and if you have any question just ask in the comment box and just make a comment if you like this video. Thank you.